Hi, this is Brian Ireson from the Computer Workshop. Today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to split your screen to make editing a little bit easier. So as you can see, I have a document here. I've got a cover page. I've got some headings. And one of the nice things about using our styled headings is that we can actually hover over those and see the little arrows there that you will allow you to go ahead and collapse these and expand them as need be. So they're very, very useful for that. But another nice thing to know about this is that we can switch from the Home tab to the View tab, and we can view the split window. Now, when we have multiple documents, we can arrange those so we can see them next to each other, and we can even do view side by side of separate documents. But there's a lot of times where we spend a lot of effort scrolling up and down through our document as we are editing. Now, to sort of help with this, we're going to use this split button. So that's going to go ahead and split our screen into two halves. You can actually set your cursor on the split line and you'll see a little double headed arrow that will allow you to size that larger one or the other. So I can make the top smaller and I can scroll through the top and notice that I'm not scrolling through the bottom and I'm looking right now at the same piece of information and I can scroll up and down through this document on the bottom side also. Now let's say that I am going to look here at my first point. I have a paragraph here. I have a coming down to my third point. Let's say that I need to move this paragraph right here down into this other space. So I'm going to do this very, very quickly by just coming to the top, locating my text that I want to work with. In this case, I'm going to just select that paragraph, scrolling through the bottom and kind of setting my cursor where or getting my view where I want it to be. And now I can actually come up top and I can click on that highlighted piece of text and I can drag this and I can drop it to reposition it within my document. So using that split window makes things very, very easy when you are rearranging content. Now granted, I could also take advantage of collapsing my sections, which are basically held inside of my, uh, my headers. So I'm going to see my first, second, and third points here. And I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to look. I've got my main topic two, as you see. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to see main topic three, and I've got a heading two. Well, you know what? This third point. So if I select this, I could just grab this whole thing and drag and drop it into place. Now, when it's collapsed, I didn't just move that one little heading. If I expand it, you'll see that I have moved all the content in that little section, which is again defined by the use of my styles. So that's another great, great feature of this. Now let's say that I'm done with this split, I'm finished editing and I don't want this anymore. So I can resize this. In fact, if I just double click on it, as you saw, it disappears. So using that split window allows us to view more than one place in the document simultaneously. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's little tutorial. And if you have, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are always putting out new videos every week, so you never know what you might come across next. So we hope that you enjoyed this. We hope that you subscribe. And until next time, take care for now.